everybody, and welcome back to Powered Director Made Simple. At the beginning of March of 2024, Cyberlink introduced the new AI anime video creation tool for Powered Director. But you are going to be surprised when you find out that it is not really part of Powered Director after all. It was shown as one of the featured parts of Powered Director on the Cyberlink website. Notice the part of the web page that says free download on top of the sample AI anime image. Does this mean that you can download and install the new AI anime video creation tool on other versions, such as the non-subscription ultimate version? And will it install on some older versions of the program as well? Well, the answer is no. So what happens if you were to click on that free download button? Well, you get directed to another page where you can either subscribe to or buy the complete program outright. And I guess they forgot to mention that if you buy the perpetual licensed version, you cannot get the AI anime video creation tool, which is only available to the 365 subscription based versions of the program. You can also click on another button there that says free download. But this no longer has anything to do with the AI anime video creation tool, but rather immediately downloads, without asking anything further, a trial version of PowerDirector with only limited functionality and which does not include the AI video creation tool. So what happened to the free download of the AI anime video creation tool? It just doesn't exist. If you just happen to be a current PowerDirector 365 subscription user, you can download a free update which adds the AI video as a menu choice in the program, but no other actual AI video creation coding to the program. Maybe that's what Cyberlink is talking about. It's a free download, but only as an update to those that already have PowerDirector 365 subscription. Let's see what that free download update looks like. What you are now looking at is the PowerDirector 365 subscription program showing that new tool in the upper left. The only thing that is different is the additional menu item at the top that also proclaims new and the addition of the AI anime video item to the tools menu at the top. Let's click on the button to start the AI anime video tool. The first thing is to choose a style. I'll click on classic and then start now. My next choice is, is the duration, either 10, 20 or 30 seconds, nothing longer. I'll choose 10 seconds and click continue. The next window just shows some tips for the best results. I'll click on import video. Now this is where I choose whatever video file that is on my system. And that is as far as the involvement of PowerDirector program is concerned. From here, your video gets uploaded to the Cyberlink servers where the AI processing actually takes place. A 10 second video takes 15 minutes. They notify you by email when it is ready to view and download. No processing takes place within PowerDirector or on your computer. Everything happens on the Cyberlink server. But let's look a little closer. Notice the credits shown in the upper right. That's when you find out that using this tool is not totally free. It's all done on a credits basis. Each AI video you create costs you credits. As you can see, I currently have 82 credits, which limits me to only one 20 second video. Unless, of course, I either upgrade or buy additional credits. And this is what Cyberlink is banking on. I'll click on the Get Credits button. Another window opens that gives me the opportunity to either upgrade or buy credits. 
I'll click on the Choose Your Pack to Buy Credits. And there we have all the options. I can buy either 50, 100, 200, or the 500 credits package. Have you noticed the other little trick? Well, I call it a trick, but others might be more forgiving and say it's technically correct. Take a close look at the cost per credit in the 50 credits package. Wow, is that only one cent per credit? Uh, sorry, but somewhere between Taiwan and your home, the ending zero just disappeared. In the United States, cents are normally displayed using the two decimal values. I mean, after all, each cent is one one hundredth of a dollar. So their value should be displayed to the hundredth decimal place. Instead of one cent, that price is actually ten cents per credit. Yeah, I know, I'm being a little overly critical here, but come on, Cyberlink, let's quote prices in the manner that is commonly used. I'll close this window, and I'll hover the mouse over the small icon just to the right of the Get Credits button, where it says, Visit our AI features every day to claim your credits. I want you to remember what it says here, Visit our AI features. That's features with an S for plural. Does that mean if I visit other AI features in PowerDirector that I can claim my free credits? The answer is no, at least for the time being. And here's why. CyberLink has switched the Photo Director program to require credits to utilize nearly all of the AI features in that application. Now let's take a look at CyberLink's web page about credits within Photo Director. Now I don't have nor do I use photo, the Photo Director program as I'm pretty used to Adobe Photoshop by now. I have no idea what is meant by consumption and output, but it sounds expensive. Oh, by the way, I love the note number one at the bottom. Apparently, Mac users can purchase PhotoDirector 365 for the Mac directly from the Apple App Store. And who knows, maybe it was cheaper there. But now they find out that such versions purchased through Apple don't get any of the monthly bonus subscription credits. And Cyberlink's response to them is, consider subscribing to PhotoDirector 365 for Mac on the Cyberlink website directly. In other words, all that money you just spent at the Apple App Store has been wasted. But Cyberlink only tells you that after you already purchased the app from Apple. I'm sure there are many Apple users who are just thrilled about this news. So now back to the use of the words features in PowerDirector. Something tells me that I can see the same thing happening to PowerDirector in the future as what users now experience in PhotoDirector. It might be that if you want to use any AI feature, you'll need to buy some credits. I hope I'm wrong about this. And I have to ask a question as to why this feature was included with PowerDirector. It has nothing to do with video editing operations of the program, and everything is an online process. It could have been created as a web page and accessed by a PowerDirector 365 user who signs in and is granted access to use the app. Then the finished video could have been viewed and downloaded directly from the web page. It was added only to the menu items in PowerDirector to make it seem as if something new were, was being added to the PowerDirector program itself. It isn't. It is really nothing more than an online app. So why is it taking up menu space in the PowerDirector app? I'm going to click back to the beginning page and I'm going to click on My Creations. Now aside from those little head scratching observations that I've made, the AI anime video app does a fairly decent job of creating these videos. It's just too bad you can apply the, you cannot apply any of this to a longer video. I suppose I could make a 10-minute video in stages, 
but that would take me nearly two years of getting enough free credits to complete. Oh wait, I forgot. Those free credits are good for only 30 days. So I'm still limited to one 30 second video. Ah, uh, no thanks. I've got better things to do with my life. Well, there you have it. The AI anime video creation tool seems to work flawlessly and does return nice results. But I'm not sure where you would ever use these results, especially when you are limited to 30 seconds. And just like many other AI photo and video tools that are available from web pages as online tools, I think this one should also be in that spot. It has nothing to do with video editing. And the last time I looked, PowerDirector was a video editing program. You may disagree with me and find that it is something that you can use frequently enough to warrant taking up real estate within the PowerDirector program. Leave your comments below. Share this videos to those that have yet to see or utilize this new feature. And make sure to hit that subscribe button.